So here is Pokemon Uranium. Just the regular mode. So I haven't played this yet. My husband's played it, which I may have just deleted his game, but that's okay. Oh, that's right. You're that kid who's applying for a job, right? Well then, I'm Ernest Bambo, or I guess you would call me Professor Bambo, if you want to. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Need any help? Well then, without further ado, I'll have you journeying around the world to collect specimens for me. You'll meet all types of people along the way, some willing to cooperate and some not. But you should try to be friendly with everyone. We don't want a bad reputation, right? People are going to need your help for many things, like solving mysteries or lending a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy. There's dangers everywhere. Along the way, you may have to solve mysteries and be challenged by people and even wild creatures. Keep your head on your shoulders, kid, and you'll pull through just fine. Need any help? Uh, nope. That's about all I need. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess untold powers over the elements and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. But we don't know everything about them yet. That's my job. I'm the regional, perhaps worldwide expert on Pokemon elements. Why do they exist? Why do they have strengths and weaknesses? Ah, uh, but I'll tell you all this at your first day on the job. Report to my lab this morning to get your Pokemon starter. Starter Pokemon, whatever. Now, if you fill out this form here, are you a boy or girl? I am a girl. Are you sure? Oh, I'm pretty sure. Now, what did you say your name was? Uh, let's do... Anyway, we'll just do this. We'll do my nickname. Okay. Nope. Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You together with your Pokemon are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills. You're bound to make exciting discoveries. Get ready. Ten years ago, Lucille, Regina's mother, was the manager of Tandor's third nuclear power plant. There was a slight mechanical malfunction. They were in the process of making repairs when... Na na na! Nice work, mates! Okay, break time. I'll fetch you some lunch. I'd like a cheeseburger. What about you? Um, I don't think we have time for a break right now. It looks like there's something wrong in the power room. And it looks like the system is overheating. What? What's going on? Shoot! It's gonna explode! Everybody, get out and run! Way to take your time, buddy. Most of the aides just barely escaped with their lives, but as for Lucille, they never found her body. After that day, Regina's father, a famous Pokemon, Ranger left his house to travel the region, secretly searching for his wife. Since then, you've lived with your aging great aunt in a small town that was known as Moki. You grew up there with until your aunt, now retired, can no longer support a 13-year-old. 
Your father negotiated with Professor Bambo, an old friend of his, to give you a job as a Pokemon trainer. Now the time has come for you to leave home. Regina, come downstairs, you're late! So, it pretty much looks like the original Pokemon. Look at this old woman. No wonder she can't take care of a 13 year old. Oh, Regina, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, why do you have to go? <laughs> no, don't answer that. I know perfectly well why. Oh, if only those old bones could do more so that I could support the both of us. But let's not dwell on the past. Here, I bought you some new shoes for your journey. Wear them well. Running shoes! And a kiss! So... <sighs> Go, sweetie. Best of luck. If you're lost, ask someone around town. When you can, call me, alright? Bye-bye. Okay. Never did understand why a 13-year-old kid was allowed to just go out into the world without any parents, but... Oh well. Okay. So, down here... Probably the professor's lab. Who's this? Hi, Regina. I heard you're also getting your first Pokemon today. Theo's really excited about that, you know. Theo! Sun just peeking. Where is the professor? I don't like all these video game kids are playing these days. Well, don't buy your son any. Find a clip. Here's a big house. Maybe that's it. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, hey, Regina. It's today, isn't it? Your big day, so to speak. But it's not just yours, of course. There's one other kid, isn't there? Oh, God. Dang it. You got here first. You're, um, Tom, is it? Honestly, Pops, can't you remember my name? I'm Theo. Theo, remember it. Right, sorry, Theo. You know Theo, don't you? He's your friend. Uh, from when you were kids. You do recognize him, don't you? Hey, Pro, I'm kind of tired of waiting. Let's take the test already. Alright, alright, alright. The test, yeah. You both will take the test at the same time. It should be kind of fun, actually. Wait one sec! What's on this test anyway? Oh, right, right. This test consists of questions about, uh, stuff to determine what kind of trainer you are. Since different starter Pokemon are suited to different types of trainers, we'll be able to find one that best suits you. Are you ready for taking it? Yes, I am. Okay, then let's start. Which of these Pokemon would probably win a battle? Um, probably Magmar. Which of these kinds of Pokemon would you rather raise? Uh, let's go with the well -Mater. What kind of battle strategy are you going to aim for in the future? Uh, probably one hit KO. I would like a defensive kind. Shut up, Theo. What do you think is the best thing about being a Pokemon trainer? To be the very best. Um, which of these TMs do you think is better? 
Um, let's go with Hyper Beam. Alright. Very informative. We learned a lot about each other. Perhaps ourselves. Not really. Test results have to say about your future partner. I got a wrap torch. Becky Empire. Theo got an orc orkinks. Hmm. Okay. Um, are we gonna give a nickname? No, because it's a new game and I'm not gonna bother with that. Um So Theo got a grass type and I got a fire type. Well that should be easy. That harder than I hope, but don't be so quick to judge him. He's still only a child, or grab him eventually. Anyways, good luck on your journey. I'll stay in touch. Oh, by the way, before you leave, could you do me a favor? Check if Theo is all right. I don't want him to be sad. He is probably at his house. Sure, I don't have anything else to do. Oh wait. Uh, I should get the Pokeballs. Use them to catch more Pokemon. That'll work. down here and check on Theo. Hey little ass. What did you do to my son? If you hurt him in any way, I'll... Oh, so that's how it is. He's unhappy with his starter Pokemon. I understand. Sorry for lashing out, but as you know, I'm very protective of my son. My father gave me a Pokey Pod. Of course, um, blah blah blah. Good luck on your journey. We're getting up to the Pokey Pod. All right. Go away, don't talk. Obviously, you don't. Alright, well, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to talk to you. So. I think we'll leave that video there. And uh, next one, I will continue our Pokemon Uranium journey. Thanks everyone for watching. This is the Crafty Bitch and Gamer. Bye, y'all.